why the assumption that it is, quote, too high given this economy, right? If we look back in history, rates have been a lot higher than we've been seeing over the last couple of years. GDP growth is still outperforming. What is it that's too high about these current rate levels given everything seems to be going pretty well? Well, I, I think you're right when you look, you know, the, the what is a neutral interest rate in an economy is not a theoretical concept. It's an empirical right. concept. And if the economy is going pretty well, and, and to be clear, it has been gone well for six quarters during yeah. a more right. elevated interest rate environment. So those folks who are saying, well, the lags and the lagged effect of interest rate heights will eventually show up. It's like if the lag effects of the interest rate hikes are going to show up, when are they going to show up? Because interest rates have been, you know, have been elevated for quite a while. Exactly. I, I think it's mostly Fed economists who are running econometric models that are highly focused on, you know, the post GFC period who are benchmarking mm -hmm. neutral at 2.5% instead of looking at the empirical evidence of how this economy is doing, which looks, you know, suggests that maybe the neutral, the neutral Fed rate is a lot closer to the 5% that we saw in the 90s than the two and a half that those economists are predicting. And, and so, Bob, just to, to hone in on that point a little bit more, what is it that could have driven a change in the neutral interest rate? Is it the underlying rate of productivity growth? Is it underlying labor participation? Like, what exactly is it that could have changed that anchor point? Well, I think there's a couple different things that have strengthened the underlying structural growth in the economy. Uh, a big one is that we've had a big shift in uh, debt conditions. You know, household debts today, as a function of the significant increase in incomes, nominal incomes, over the course of the last 15 years and the pay down of all that debt that was built up prior to the financial crisis, had, the debts have been meaningfully restructured, and a lot of that debt service was locked in at very low rates. Um, when rates were, were were low, the same thing is true for corporations. And so the debt burdens that existed post-GFC have moderated. We have seen a pickup in productivity in the economy, probably not what not driven by sort of AI and technological innovations, but more traditional cyclical productivity improvements that happen late cycle. That raises the the baseline interest rate. And we have seen increased labor force growth in the last couple of years, particularly mm -hmm. related to immigration. You add all those things up, no one of them is so significant that would meaningfully shift uh, the, the benchmark neutral interest rate, but you put all these things together. And again, we might be seeing sort of neutral interest rates in this economy that look closer to four or four and a half than they do to two and a half. 